Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to free up space on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Now the first thing we're going to do is quickly take a look at our usage. So we'll open up our settings application here. We will tap on general and we're going to tap on usage. So I'll tap on manage storage and I'll be able to see what is using most of the storage on my iPhone. So you can see for most people photos and cameras so videos and things like that will be using up the most space but you can see I've got quite a few applications here that use a lot of space as well. So if you have a lot of applications using a whole lot of space what you could do is tap on them tap delete app and it'll delete the app for you. Now if you delete it you can always get it back in the app store even if it's a purchased application you'll be able to re-download it because it's saved with your account. Next we'll go back and take a look at some of my photos and my camera stuff. So we'll open up my photos application here and deleting photos and video is probably the biggest thing for you. As you can see, I got quite a few videos here and some are quite large. For example, this one here at almost four minutes. If I wanted to, I could delete it. I could just tap on it here, open that up, hit delete and then delete the video. Now one thing a lot of people forget to do when they delete photos and videos is to delete them from the recently deleted album. Now when you open that up you'll see I have all the different pictures and videos that I've deleted over the last 30 days. Now what you can do here is simply select up top and then you can select the ones you want to delete. I would recommend deleting all of them if you don't need them because that'll free up quite a bit of space. So we'll go ahead and highlight all of them and then we'll tap on delete. Delete 22 items because that's how many are there. Now just to quickly jump back to my usage section, you can see I freed up 600 megabytes of space just by deleting those photos. Now if you don't want to delete the photos, you can always transfer them to your computer, you can transfer them using iTunes. The next tip involves the messaging application and a lot of people overlook this. So what we're going to do is open up our settings application. You then want to navigate and tap on messages. From here you want to scroll to where it says message history. Now you can see mine is set to forever and if you tap on that you'll be able to set the message history to 30 days, a year, or forever. Now if you keep it for 30 days, after 30 days it's going to delete that history. The next way would be to actually open the messaging app and what you do here is just swipe to the left to delete the actual message history yourself. And by doing this, what you're going to do is save space. Because most of us have a lot of different contacts and a lot of messages going through, and sometimes pictures and videos are sent, that creates a lot of space being used. For the next tip here, what you want to do is open up your music application and navigate to where it says My Music. Now, if you've downloaded a lot of different music or audiobooks or anything like that, by deleting them, you're going to free up quite a bit of space. Tying in with your music would be the videos app and the same deal here if you've downloaded movies or TV shows and you've watched them already, you can delete them off your device and that way it'll free up some space. Once again, you'll be able to get them all back as it all ties in with your iTunes account. So those are some ways you can free up space on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Again, checking on everything in your My Storage section would be the best bet to see what is actually using most of your memory. So hopefully this helps you. If it does, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, follow me on social media and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.